Put on your headphone, put on your headphone, okay. and uh, let's have a vibe. Yeah, Charlie, should even see the uh, how do you call this one helmet? Oh, how do you call it? Helmet, helmet eh? Helmet. Yeah, you should see their helmet. Let me let me hold one, Charlie. This is very heavy, man. Yeah, this big, this big. Adam has never put on one because his head is too big. I'm not sure, Adam, your head can enter this message. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys should check the helmet. Um. Very huge one, very huge one, and uh, Jata Fatwe na Okrawo Timiche, Uti Krampunkum. Big man, welcome, 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 welcome. And uh, today we are eager to know you well and what you do. And this morning we've seen so many people asking, when is KBS coming? Is KBS coming? Tell me how fans, man. No, you have fans. Trust me. So the full name is KBS. That that's your real name, yeah? No, that's not my real name. Mm-hmm. My real name is Abubakar Sadiq. Mm-hmm. Abubakar Sadiq. Yes. So how did you get a KBS? Well, the K stands for King, mm-hmm. and the B stands for Bala, mm-hmm. and the S stands for Stunt. King Bala Stunt. Exactly. Oh, okay. So Bala is there any meaning for Bala? Because yeah. for King and Stunt, okay. I know. The bala means uh, Wednesday born. Okay. Yeah. In Hausa. In Hausa. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Wednesday born. Okay. Okay. So you are the king among the Wednesday borns. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yeah. I'm also Wednesday born. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm nice, quite nice, cool. Nice. I'm quite cool. So now I can call myself bala. Eh? You can call yourself bala. Why not? Join <laughs> us. <laughs> no, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. How did you learn how to ride a bike? How did you learn how to? In fact, your first day of learning how to ride a bike. How did it? How did it start? How did you do it? Okay, it all started when I got interest in motorbike, so I went learning how to fix it. Okay. So, due to that... Ah, to start as a repairer? Yeah, I started fixing. <laughs> this world. <yeah. laughs> I see. Uh-huh. So, on the process of fixing, I used to see uh, my senior colleagues in town riding and other video clips. Okay. How they stand, and I was like, wow, will I also get here... That requires a whole lot of hard work and push to mm-hmm. when I'm working and I fix bike, like after fixing, I go for trying and mm-hmm. I try pulling some tricks. Mm-hmm. But I sometimes get hurt though because <laughs> at that moment <laughs> I, I, I went through the rough way. Okay. Before I came to get uh, so, advices. So you learnt it through the rough way? Yeah. Starting for the, from the beginning I started with the rough ways. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At that time, no support, nothing. Mm-hmm. So from there, I started getting advices like, what you are doing is great. Mm-hmm. When you keep up, you mm-hmm. can learn and get better ahead of what you're even thinking of because you have a great talent Good. with what you are doing. Mm-hmm. So I listened to them and I started wearing helmet, gloves mm-hmm. and boots. Mm-hmm. And it went on and on and on till I started acquiring more skill than I expected myself. Okay. So... Mm. From there, I used to come to town when there's a bike. Let's go back to it a little bit. Okay, sure. How many years did you learn how to fix the bikes? Okay. Or how to repair bikes? How many years did it take you? Okay, I've been into bikes since 2007 now. Okay. Yeah, it's about 14 years now. Since 2007? Yes. That was when you started fixing the bike? That, that's when I was fully into bikes. Okay, so are you still fixing bikes today or now you've stopped? No, I haven't stopped. I'm fixing and I still ride. You have a shop on your own? Yes. At where? At uh, Madina and Samampum. Madina and Samampum. Yeah. Do you have a special name for your shop? Well, due to my name, everyone calls it KBS Bike Shop. KBS Bike Shop. Yeah, sure. So you have workers under you where they work when you are out, maybe doing your thing like today you are here. Do you have workers there or you are the only guy fixing the bikes? I have my nephew and younger brothers who I work with. Okay, so at the moment they are there. Yeah, that is KBS there. Bikes Workshop. Workshop sure. at Medina Summer Pool. Summer Pool, yeah. I see. <laughs> it's good you live at Summer Pool. <laughs> <laughs> Rasku could be your best friend. <laughs> um, so whilst you were learning, at what point did you buy your first bike, and what type of bike was that? Uh, my first stand bike I, I bought was Yamaha Chapi. One, uh, it was fifty capacity, mm-hmm. and you know. I, I hide my feeding fees mm-hmm. and uh, tips I get from customers when they come to our workshop mm-hmm. to fix their bikes and they are excited with my service. Mm-hmm. 
unfortunately. So when they give me tips, I hide it mm-hmm. so I can afford myself. Nah, you don't give life. it to your boss. No, that's tips. That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is like that. We we even take payola sometimes as well. Mm, okay. <laughs> so uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Adam, go away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, go ahead, uh, KBS. Mm-hmm. So when I hide it, and it gets to the amount which can b- get me a bike then mm-hmm. i'll buy the bike but man- maintaining it sometimes gets uh, too difficult because i don't get anyone at that moment to support me okay so sometimes when i buy when, when my bike gets spoiled mm-hmm. it really takes uh, difficult times for me to come up with money to buy spare parts mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. So you are not selling other bikes to fix yours? No, 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 no. You are no. not doing that. Wow. Other you bikes were, were, good were guy. other bikes were even different from my bike that time. Oh. Okay, they were not the same bikes. Yes. So the uh, parts couldn't fix no, it no, yours. No, 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 at all. It couldn't mm. fix. Mm, 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 mm. I see. How much did you buy that first bike? How much was that? Uh, I bought my first bike at um, two hundred CDs. Two hundred CDs. Yes. <laughs> The Yamaha Chappie. Chappie. Yeah, and Mecca, please uh, try Google. Ask Google if Google can give you a picture of Yamaha, Yamaha. Chappie. I want 50 to capacity, 50cc. 50cc. Uh, sure. Okay. So I'm sh- I'm sure Mecca will get that for us. Yamaha Chappie 50cc. CC. CC. Yeah. Okay. Mecca, check that for me. So that was when? 2008? Yeah, that was somewhere around 2008. That was when you bought your first bike yes. at 200 Ghana CDs. Yes. I see and that was when you started doing your thing and apart from people who were telling you oh you have to wear your helmet you have to wear this and that was there any trainer for you was there any particular guy or person who trained you into it that oh when you start the bike do this way do that way was there someone like that in your life then well sincerely i had no trainer i had no one to address me how to ride mm-hmm. but i had motivators Mm-hmm. Who I, I I used to watch their video clips and it here gave, in Ghana or outside of Ghana, both Ghana and outside Ghana. Okay. In Ghana, I had someone like Survivor and Papa Lee. Oh, okay. And Master Sally. So Papa Lee is also a biker, yeah, right? Papa Lee, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. serious biker. I <laughs> see. <laughs> uh huh. And Papa uh, and Survivor Nero Ronaldo. Survivor here, he's in Nima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard his name. Okay, so um, uh, please let me check the bike. Well, is this the bike? This is the bike. <laughs> yeah, make a bit hard guy. <laughs> All right, so this is the chappy bike he bought. That was his first ever bike he bought at uh, somewhere around 2008, and he bought it at 200 Ghana cities. Um, <laughs> KBS, is this what we call Shamin Shaminobu? No, this has a uh, three <laughs> shift gears. Okay. The Shami Nobu is the type uh, which has no clutch. Oh, no, okay. No, yeah, you just accelerate it, then it moves. Oh, okay. So this is not Shami Nobu. No, 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 at all. I this see. Is not Shami Nobu. So as we speak, how many stand bikes do you have? Well, at the moment, I have one stand bike. Mm-hmm. One o- on, of your own? Yeah, one of my own. Mm-hmm. But there are other bikes you use to do your stuff? I have other bikes I use for town riding. But I don't use it for stunt. You don't use it. Okay, so for stunt bike, you have just one. Just one. And what type is that? I would want the maker to show that to you. Okay, it's Kawasaki KX 450F. Kawasaki KS 450F. 450F. The maker, I hope you've written that down. It's very long though. <laughs> Kawasaki KF. KX. Oh, KS. Uh huh. 450F. F. Okay. X. Yeah. Kawasaki KX. Okay. KF. 450s kx <laughs> okay ah uh, okay kx yeah sure and 450 what f yes 450F. Uh, okay 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 so kawasaki kx x for the real xylophone 450f so that is the bike you use now yeah my current bike that's your current bike sure. okay ladies and gentlemen i've told you that there is a gentleman that we have to know today and we've started a conversation going very very smoothly and very beautifully as well he is a stunt man for bikes uh, motorbikes and i have been asking myself why is the industry not using this guy because what i've seen him do eh crazy crazy stuff i mean that is what we're going to do we're going to move into a moment of watching just Okay, so this is the bike you have now. Yeah, this is the bike I have now. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> How much is this one? Oh, this this can cost you about um, um, 
35,000 Ghana cedis. 35,000? Yeah, sure. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so this is the one you are using to do the stunt now? Yeah, this At 35,000. Sure. It, it can buy yeah, it can buy Toyota Vits. <laughs> it can surely buy Toyota Vits. I see. So did you buy this one brand new or home use? Okay, I bought mine home use. Yours was a home use. Yes. You bought it here in Ghana? Yeah, here in Ghana. I see. That is the Kawasaki KX450F. I'll buy one when I grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> Emeka, let's watch two of his videos. Let's watch just two of his videos. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening to us, uh, KBS is now about to show us some of his skills. And um, what, what is this one? I don't know this one. Uh, t uh, tell us, tell us about it. Uh huh. Well, this just came to me. This video. Uh huh. I received a call from one of my colleagues, uh -huh. my stunt colleagues. He's called Shai Buimana. Uh -huh. And he was like, but Rankin is in Ghana and he wants to shoot a video clip. Uh -huh. So when he called me, he gave me the time and the location we'll meet. Uh -huh. When I came there and displayed my skill, he was like, cool, then we can go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from there, we made this nice video. Okay, so this is a video of Pato Rankin. Yeah, sure. Hmm. See what I was talking about. <laughs> We sit here. We see Patrakin can be some. We still there. Okay, you they come. Emeka, don't let us see this because I, I, I Snickers should ha get a song. Uh, let's go to the real um, stunt videos. We'll come watch this video later when Snickers gets the song as well. So let's go to the real stunt videos and uh, watch some of them. Okay, so turn your attention on our screens now. This is KBS showing some real hard stunts. So KBS, tell us whilst we are watching, where, where, where did you record this? Where was wow? What was this? Where, where did you do this? Yeah, this was um, somewhere around East Legon. Uh huh. And my man right here, Papa Lee. Uh huh. Yeah, he hosted a safety awareness bike show. Uh huh. Safety awareness bike show. Yes. Uh huh. So I was just entertaining people who were around. Uh huh. So. After entertaining, they will speak about safety. Uh -huh. Motorbike is nice, but you have to take care of yourself and stuff. But uh -huh. don't try what he is doing. Because he's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, so this was actually not you alone. It was a group of bikers. Yes. And they were all stunt bikers? Not all of them. Some of them. Okay. But they came to exhibit their bikes. Yes. Yeah, sure. And this was your time to entertain them. This was my time to entertain them. I see. And you called it was Safety Awareness Bike Show. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. And we can take us to other shows. And the event itself is Biker Sunday. Biker Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I know you guys do something on the Jowulu, um, um, Accra Mall Road. Sundays, they do something on the other side. Yeah, they, they do something. Okay, so wh where is this one to? Um, uh, KBS, where is this one to? Yeah, this one, uh, that's Ivory Coast. I went to Ivory Coast for a show. Hey, chain, 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 <laughs> chain, chain. You have a international chain, chain. If I can give you more Ghana stuff before we go international. Wow. <laughs> you guys need to be watching this guy, man. His name is KBS, aka the stunt guy. And I'll be asking him so many questions about our industry, how our industry is tapping into his skills. Our videos, no, I at a tour at two. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, so let's let's go to this video. Okay, so let's go to the video. Okay, so let's go to the Ivory Coast video so that um, KBS will tell us more about that. Um, let's go, to, let's watch the Ivory Coast video again. Okay, so how did the invitation come to you, uh, KBS? Oh, it came from my. They, they reached me on Instagram. you on their bike show in Ivory Coast. Mm -hmm. And I told him, yeah, sure. One of their colleagues there messaged me and I'm in so we can go. 
Oh, I see. So in this case, were you paid to do that? Yeah, I was paid to do that. Mm -hmm. And were you using your own bike or what you were using there was a different bike? It was my own bike. The bike? Here. Yeah, my bike was, was transport uh, from Ghana, Ghana to, to Ivory Coast. Coast. Oh, you did not ride to Ivory no, Coast? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So they came for you. They paid for your transportation everything. Yes. Transported your bike there. For and you displayed for how many days? I displayed for two days. For two days? First day and second day. It was a national event. It was a national event. The uh, Minister of Sports was around. I see. Do we have any show of such nature here in Ghana? Like a bike show, a national bike show like that? Well, I've, I've never encountered one. You've never seen one here? Yeah. So what you guys do is the Sunday bikers. That's the only event you have. Oh, there are, there are other events, but the, uh, mostly the stunt ones are the Sunday, uh, the bikers Sunday. Mm-hmm. The Bikers Sunday. Yes. That happens at where? Well, it, it happens on different different branches, like oh, okay. different locations. Okay, so where do you do yours? Okay, it depends on where the, uh, the show will be hosted. Uh, oh, okay, do you move it? Yeah, yeah ah, move okay, it. okay. So it's not done at one place. Yeah. You guys, I think I've been seeing the one on the uh, Jowulu Accra. Well, the Mall. Jowulu Accra uh, Road uh -huh. is not a show area. It's just a training ground. When people just come there to perfect their skill oh. or there's other bikers too oh they come there yeah, to, perfect to perfect their, their skill yeah. mm, i see so um, KPS, ever since you started have you had any injury before yeah definitely i've had injuries when i started learning tricks mm -hmm. because it's not easy you can just wake up seeing bike and doing difficult stuff like this mm -hmm. you definitely hit mm -hmm. so b before you you even get close to your bike to stunt you have to make sure like for your first time you have to keep up mm -hmm. if you don't keep up and you try and it fails you trust me you you, you hurt yourself and you damage your bike you damage your bike. You damage your bike. <laughs> you hurt yourself and damage your bike it means your interest in the bike damaging <laughs> hey, i see now, now when you were learning yeah. I, of course you would suffer one or two mm -hmm. but ever since you mastered it have you also encountered any injury mm, it happens once mm -hmm. it happens once but not always and mm -hmm. i'm very careful sometimes not me my fault but sometimes from maybe the road or mm -hmm. sometimes it's a machine everything can happen exactly 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 he is the greatest bike stunt ever i have come across like face to face like this now let's come talking he said paturankin invited you to feature in his video yeah. what was the discussion negotiations money in there and all that tell us about it because that is the discussion i really want us to do mm. okay well as i said earlier mm -hmm. the call didn't come straight to myself it okay. came to one of my colleagues, Shaibu. Mm -hmm. And Shaibu is the one who called me. Okay. So I didn't really discuss much with Pato Rankin. Like, we didn't discuss much. Okay. Because he already had uh, the discussion with my colleague. Mm -hmm. So as my colleague already spoke with him, mm -hmm. I just went with the flow. Mm -hmm. Since the funds is okay. Okay. Okay, so Shaibu did the negotiations for you and all. Was the money good? Well, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, sure. Could it buy another bike? No, no, no. It couldn't buy another bike. It couldn't buy another bike. <laughs> couldn't buy another bike. Yeah. But it was okay for you. Yeah, it was okay. I see. Now, in Ghana, our showbiz people, our musicians, mm -hmm. have you worked with any of them? Well, I've worked with um, Kwesiata, Joy B on a video shoot. Mm -hmm. Which of Kwesiata's video? Um, I think I forgot, but I have you, to check. You, you forgot. Yeah, okay. And how about the Joy B one? Do you remember that too? It's a collab. Oh, the song. Yeah. Oh, okay, it was a collaborated song. Yeah. Kwesiata and Joy B. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure my my DJ will look for it. And did they pay you well? Yeah, they it, paid me. Or you did it for free? No, be honest. No, uh, no, no, no. I didn't do it for free. Okay. I don't. I, I when when I'm shooting video clips for artists, I don't do it for free. Okay. Because that's where I get my fans to fix my bike. That's it. That's also it. Also, buy myself gloves, helmets, and. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, so averagely how much would an artist pay you for a music video mm, well 
It's a one on one chat. I wait, wait. I know that, that, that there are so many musicians, music video directors who follow this show yeah. and they might want to feature you in one of uh, their videos. So and I'm ready if they. Uh, text me on Instagram or I, I can drop my, call, my my phone so my phone okay. number so they call. Okay, but is it are you affordable? Uh, can I deal with you maybe below like three thousand or something? Oh yeah, it depends on the hours. Mm, it depends on the hours. Yeah. Oh, so you charge based on hours? Yeah, based on hours. Wow, how much did Obibini pay you? Obibini. <laughs> no, Obibini is my boy, so that one is home case. It's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> or even he's your boss. Ah, since he's your boy, then you know what, what, what's going on. <laughs> I don't need to talk. <laughs> All right, Jata, check on Bibini how much he gave to uh, KBS2. Uh, so, how was, the, how was it like on the set of Bibini? That is the Woodini anthem song. How was it like on that set? Because I, I heard the place was really charged. Well, the energy over there was different. Yeah, me. I heard it. And mm-hmm. Obibini's flow with the track. Mm-hmm sick mm. it's, it's very late okay I'm, lying. I'm looking forward to do a nice video clip with the track a different one a different one like my own personal i have his clothes he mm-hmm. gave me a nice shirt mm-hmm. uh, named Udini. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i'm looking forward to shoot a nice video clip with that track oh i see his current track which i went to shoot a yeah video for. yeah i saw shata michi in there did you get her yeah. Because I saw she was wearing some bikers uniform and all. And, and, and a green bike. Yeah, and a green bike. Yeah. Did you provide that? Yeah, we provided the bike. Oh, you provided the bike. As the, at the bike uh, side, mm-hmm. we provided everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did Shata Michi ride or she was just sitting on it? <laughs> she was just sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> but but that, that one is uh, it, 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 it's different. Oh, let's, we let's should talk about that, yeah, let's just put it ah, aside. Okay, there was some stand like that. I want to believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, they will make you feel, yeah, this is Shatamichi right here. Yeah, I suspect something like that happened. Anyway, it's okay. We are waiting for that video. Have you been getting encounters with police? Because sometimes I see you on the street doing your thing in the middle of cars. You'll be meandering here and there. Have you encountered any police uh, here and there? Well, they used to stop me, but I, 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 I don't, I don't move. I, I stop, mm-hmm. and we talk. Mm-hmm. I, I wear my helmet too. I don't ride without helmet, without gloves. Okay. So, so w- when they stop you, what has been the caution they put to you, or what did, what do they tell you before you guys start talking? Well, uh, I start when when I see a, a traffic light. I start. I don't bypass a traffic light. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, they only stop me or give me an offense if I don't obey the uh, road rules. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I obey when I see a traffic light. I stop. You stop. Oh, yeah. okay. But have they seen you maybe going between vehicles here and there? Is that your skill? <laughs> Not really, because that one it mostly happens on Sunday. Oh, okay. Why the police doesn't work on Sundays? They work on Sunday, but <laughs> <laughs> everyone has. Everyone knows his rule. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you know the road that you, this road is a free road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you go. Are you comfortable when you are doing the stunt and someone should be behind you on the bike? Or you always want to do it alone? You want to be on the bike alone? Well, I don't, uh, it depends uh, the kind of trust the person has in me. Mm-hmm. I can't just pill on someone and stunt with the person mm-hmm. without the person having a stunt experience. Mm-hmm. The person has to. In fact, me, I will not sit behind you, you to do this. Yeah, I'm well, being when honest. you pick someone who, who is not into <laughs> motorbike or doesn't have love for motorbike, and uh-huh. you pop up a really with the person, uh-huh. and the person you pop up a really. Yeah, What's like, the meaning of that? Like you. Oh, you raise the you bike. Raise oh, that's what it is called. Yeah. Pop up a really. Yeah. Charlie, but now see people with nyan bikes popping up wheelies everywhere. Yeah. Like bikes need be a time, but normally. <laughs> <laughs> And you will come out <laughs> popping up on necessary release. Oh. <laughs> the other day, somewhere around Santa Maria, one guy did it and he killed one woman who was just by the roadside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was there one evening. One evening. On Masu Kurubs, the car be crossing the car and the The woman was seeing someone off by the roadside. He killed the woman, like on the spot. 
I don't know how it ended. I see. Now, I make add some videos. Let's see if there are some videos so I come back to my panel members. Maybe they also have some one or two questions they have uh, for KBS. KBS, how about movies? Have you been called to do some movies? Well, I've never been in a movie. You've never been in before. any movie no, before? No, I've never been in a movie before. Are you willing? Are you ready to do something in movies? Yeah, I'm very ready. Mm -hmm, I'm I see. very ready. Is there any... Uh, club association where you guys do this okay so emeka has some new videos for this is where to uh, ivory coast oh this is still ivory coast yes. oh i see and ivory coast number four by charlie but i said the road name yes smooth out mm, but hey, charlie. because what, what we see from americas and they are kind of streets and uh, too smooth wow <laughs> so kb you said you learned this thing by your own no yeah, one taught no one you. taught me i don't i don't have any master who teaches me stunt so you were learning on youtube on youtube mm -hmm. and uh on instagram like uh -huh. i used to watch a lot of videos from overseas okay and my seniors in town uh -huh. my seniors who i came to meet in the survivors yeah uh -huh. survivor papa lee uh -huh. um, nero naudu uh -huh. and master sally okay and Zaki Baba Salah. Baba Salah. Yes. Apart from uh, Ivory Coast, have you ever traveled to any other country to yeah, do I've this? Yeah, I've been I've been in Togo before, 2017. Okay, that was also a bike that was show also like a this. Bike show, yeah. So how come you guys don't have a bike show? Maybe I'm sure Jata give Papa Sally some seats to, so that he answers some of these questions for me uh, as to why there is no bike show in Ghana. Meanwhile, you guys are having some group of guys doing this. Um. Yes, Papa Sally, I'm sure you can answer that on the national level. Wow, see, in Ivory Coast, he finished and the people wanted to carry him. <laughs> Papa Sally, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Papa Lee. Papa, oh, Papa Lee, Thank Papa you. Lee, Papa Lee. Sorry about that. Um, I know you were not part of this, so sorry for uh, calling you into this. It could be a disturbance, but sorry about that. My pleasure. My uh, yes, pleasure. so I'm asking that, how come you guys don't have any bike show in Ghana, knowing that there are some good bikers like yourself, um, KBS, Survivor, and the rest out there? Actually, we do have bike shows. Um, it's just not known um, across the country because obviously motorbikes in this generation it attracts a lot of um, negative energy mm. as you were talking about mm. uh, the Santa Maria incident yeah. Okada rider mm, mm, pop mm, the wheelie mm, and mm, hit a woman mm. first of all we don't do stunts on public roads mm -hmm. you see we, we restrict the stunts just on the shows now anybody you see on the roads doing stunts is not totally nothing to do with us so this is why we organize these workshops to to teach the youth about road safety mm. um it's really really a struggle we, we try to do as many workshops as possible during the year but we are only ever able to do a couple because it takes so much funds and you actually have to convince a sponsor i mean to be able to wear a sponsor t-shirt and not mm -hmm. hurt yourself and tarnish the brand of, mm. of the sponsors mm. we've been doing biker sunday which is a motorcycle awareness workshop for currently it's going on 10 years now okay and we're starting to get more more attention from people with the help of people like yourselves the mm. media mm. with the new age riders like kbs we're mm -hmm. starting to get a, a lot of attention so mm. we're, we're hoping to really penetrate sometime soon in the future i see but i know in ghana there are companies like the yamahas the bmx and co how about them because i know the their products are the things you guys use to do your stance have you been talking to them we have been in talks with them and they do sponsor us but it's very minimal because um they don't have such a big uh, budget for motorcycle events in, mm -hmm. in Accra um, mm -hmm. because they don't have so they don't sell so much of the criteria the kind of bikes we use for stunts they don't sell so much of so they don't they don't have enough budget for things like that but they yes they do sponsor us especially Japan Motors who sell Yamaha yeah but yeah. it's minimal support mm, but we are ever grateful but have you been talking to say the sports ministry the national sports council because I know there's also a sporting activity one day someone could even represent us in the Olympics or any of the sporting activities activities or tournaments around the world have you guys been talking to them well maybe sometime in the future with help from people like yourselves mm. at the moment what we're trying to do is make them gain trust in us that we're able to do this stance in a controlled environment nobody gets hurt and it's all about road safety and we're 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 slowly slowly getting
sitting there mm-hmm. trying to convince them. But I, I believe until we are able to convince them that it's very safe and controlled, it will be very difficult. Mm-hmm. I see. How do you bring in new guys? Uh, so, for instance, KBS is doing it. I know there are so many admirers who are trying to be like him and you yourself. How do you guys introduce new guys into your fold? Um, for instance, you spoke about the the, the side road on the N1. <laughs> it's where we go to practice on Sundays. So it's basically like how an artist would see a younger artist and talent spot pick him. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. The first time I met KBS, he was riding a scooter on his rear wheel and simultaneously on the phone. <laughs> now, you would pick him if you were me, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but mainly, um, anybody who believes they are off skill, they turn up on the training ground and we just take note of them hmm. and we invite them to the next event. Is there a club or an association for bikers in Ghana? There's a few clubs. There's a few clubs, motorcycle clubs. Yes, there's a few clubs. Uh, but we, per se, we do motorcycle safety events and the clubs attend. Oh, okay. That you is do what we for are. the yeah. clubs. Yeah, that's oh, it. I see. Yeah. Now, are there specific bikes for the stunt or any bike at all? Any Yamaha bike at all can do stunt? Well, there are specific bikes for the stunts, but then with a bit of experience, anyone can use any bike for stunts. But if you are a beginner, you would need a special bike as you saw KBX's Kawasaki to stunt. Mm, mm. That is the the one he's using now. The current one, the green Kawasaki. The 35k one. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many people can afford 35k. Though. <laughs> Thank you so much, and then Papa Lee, right? That's it. Papa Lee. That's Thank it. you so much for supplying this information. Now I can go back to my panel members and uh, Kojo. Any question for Papa Lee and um, KBS? Any contribution? Uh, my interest is how our industry can tap into their scale for our music videos, for our movies. Because I remember my Mr. Was shot some movie, School Girl. Mm. I think School Girl. And uh, she rode a bike. A, a bicycle, actually. Not a bike. And I know at a point, yes, we know how it was shot. But we can also do something like this for our people. But any question? And Emeka is still giving us uh, the video at Obibini's uh, shoot. So those who would want to see that, that is the Wudini shoot. It is also on our screens now when Obibini was shooting in the Woodini video and some wild stunts here. You can also check it out. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I've chanced upon some of his videos on, on online, which is very, very scary. In fact, super scary. Uh, what, which part of Ghana do you come from? Uh, I got, well, I was born and raised in Accra. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, okay. And do you have insurance? <laughs> he has plenty of it. <laughs> That's a super question. <laughs> so, how, how do you make your money riding mm-hmm. on the street? How do you make money from this craft? Well, I make uh, my money from like events when they book me for shows. Mm-hmm. Sometimes birthdays, weddings, or mu- music. Ah, birthdays. Video. Yeah, sometimes they even book me on birthday shows. Like, to, to come and just show stunt. Yeah, just <laughs> some stunts. <laughs> <laughs> For instance, if the celebrant is a motorbike rider, ah, okay. that would be the reason. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, okay, okay. Aside from people mm. calling you for music videos, how, again, do you make money? I work, I fix bikes. You fix bike, but mm. okay. For instance, you moving from riding on the streets, don't you monetize your content on uh, your YouTube okay. channels? Okay. For instance, maybe in a whole year nobody has booked you for mm. uh, an event. Mm. What are you doing? Maybe mm. you go on on riding, record it, put it on your channel. People will go there. As you rightly said, people you were learning from people on YouTube. So do you have a channel, YouTube, that you post your videos over there? Well, I lay more emphasis on the Instagram. I post my uh, more of my videos on Instagram, mm-hmm. but not YouTube. So mm-hmm. that that is very very wrong. You mm-hmm. have to put your content on the YouTube. YouTube. As you rightly say, you were learning from people over there. It is huge money when you can go there, record it properly, then put it there. People will go and also watch. Mm-hmm. So you have to pay very atten- good attention. How how spiritual are you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, KBS, this is also very important. I- I'm sure he's asking because maybe when you were invited to Ivory Coast, someone could challenge you spiritually. You you tried them, well, you tried to pop a really, they really ben, wouldn't you pop. Say go, we went to Benin, yeah, no, Togo, 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 Togo. Togo. Okay. yeah. <laughs> well, God first, I'm a Muslim, okay, yeah, and mm. I believe 
everything is okay like i don't have any problem with anyone mm, i'm okay. just showing my talent mm, 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 yes mm, okay that's mm. fine um i check on the internet i think you have a proper way bikers yeah. where because yeah. i saw some of your videos what you were wearing is not too protective due to the fact that a uh, machine can fail you even your skill can you can even miss your skill and also we can uh, underplay the 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 witchcraft uh, mm-hmm. syndrome mm-hmm. in Ghana. Yeah. This, is, this is africa this is africa <laughs> even people playing just common drums people mm-hmm. come and challenge them with yeah. you do and stuff yeah so especially in beni you'll be uh, in togo you'll mm-hmm. be there thinking that you are just riding but mm-hmm. some people can look at you and challenge you mm-hmm. spiritually mm-hmm. so if you have this proper yeah, this way yeah you have your helmets you have to, at least your hands are covered mm-hmm. your your knees, your, your knees and mm-hmm. other parts are mm-hmm. covered so mm-hmm. that if even you fall mm-hmm. the, the level of risk would be, be that be minimized yeah. so i think you have to also also check on that mm-hmm. okay so in, in relation to that video you spoke about yeah there's two types of protective wear body okay. armor there's okay. the types that you wear outside and the types that you wear inside so depending on the nature of the video shoot that determines which sort of body oh, okay. armor protection he wears okay so sometimes he what you'll be wearing goes, might be inside might be inside never goes without it never okay. never mm. it's mm. it's a golden rule we mm. never stand without production without mm. protection i beg your pardon mm. never so wrapping Perfect. up um it's it's as you said mm-hmm. it, it took um patoranking to come and give you but but he said he's done some he's done some though. couple of ways yeah he's done something with uh, kwesiatha and um uh, joey b yeah i would advise you to focus on the internet mm. and make your money more from the internet that okay is the um uh, KB, is the song la familia more. is that a song yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you might think so okay cool you uh-huh. can partner with somebody mm-hmm. to manage that yes. aspect for you mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that on every day you can just go there shoot it record it edit it mm-hmm. are you available so we can partner you i'm available but who has been recording the ones you've been doing on the street because sometimes i wonder at what level of speed was the guy also doing the recording it, it yeah. has to be another experienced mm. stunt rider mm. uh-huh. yeah. so whilst he's doing it he's also exactly because he's able to predict what kps yeah. is going to do next yeah because so, anytime i watch him i ask ah, who was doing the recording that's it, that's it. <laughs> I, I was see. coming here with him but he has a paper today so he couldn't oh. it's called japan we call him japan but his real name is abdulami oh okay oh, he's a legon eh uh, Akrapoli. Akrapoli. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yes. Costco. Uh, right inside. Now, Yanko Eni. Bless me. Um, I was I was coming to talk about the YouTube uh-huh. side. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kojo, Kojo also Kojo has said him. enough about. It. It's, it's, it is very necessary. Mm. You need to make money out of what you do because mm. mm. you don't have to sit and wait for people to come and hire you for an event. Mm. Do you get? It? Whilst you can go on the streets, do your own shoot, and then put it on uh, YouTube to make money out of it. Um. <clears throat> Right, I mean, this is um, some of the mistakes we do sometimes. You see how part uh, part of ranking, uh, keep, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I was I checked Sarkodie's legend featuring mm-hmm. um, is it Jovi. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I could see him. There was some sort of um, skate and bicycle, in yeah, yeah, in it, and I didn't see him. So I think henceforth, some of our artists, you can also approach them. You don't have to wait for them to call you. You can send send them some of your works. Your bikes. Will I mean with this? What I have? If mm. you can mm. uh, fix me somewhere, mm. you understand? Mm. Uh-huh. And to our musicians, brass mm-hmm. me, and the, uh, we the filmmakers, and yet all the time, and they say display asses and all that. <laughs> to get this, you better my one on so on so tongue in the craft yeah. out there. Mm. But to ranking, oh who you know. It is not Sabia until you have Nigeria, Honoman. I said, Yeah, but so what's the, the video was not even not shot in Ghana alone. Wow, yeah, because yeah, I saw so, some scenes and it was maybe London or America or something. Well, the yeah. bike aspect made him come to Ghana, yes, I know. Wow, yeah, I mean, when I watched, I knew wow. the video was not shot in, entirely wow. in Ghana. Wow, some portions were shot in yeah. either London or America. We were here, mm. and uh, uh, P Square, uh, sometimes they confuse me. Mm. Audio money, mm-hmm. 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 the guy, the guy, I think he 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 Shatabando. asked uh, Shatabando to come to Nigeria, yeah, 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 yeah. and he, he he made good use of Shatabando. Yeah. We were here, young man, for now, we were just making mockery, young man, for now, yeah. So, no, the other time, no, you better not have to say now. I'm on, I say, I don't know, I keep saying this when we are closer to the thing, we don't see the value, we don't value it, yeah. 
but somebody else somewhere mm-hmm. will see how valuable the thing is mm-hmm. and they will come for it mm-hmm. and you better mm-hmm. it will happen to us with this guy mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. our artists our people our producers let's turn to this gentleman and then make some good use of the guy Thank you so much, Coach Kali. Adam, come through. Let me listen to you. What are you also telling KBS and Papa Lee? Mm. KBS. Yes, sir. More powerful. Yeah, I know, right? You see, I don't know what I'm doing. 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 I want to ask, when you are on the bike and doing this stance, at times, what are your fears? Well, for me, my side, I know I'm secured, but my fear is someone not crossing me. Mm. Mm. But yeah. for my side, I know I'm secured. Was I'm the one controlling the bike, and mm-hmm. I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. has there ever been a time or a day you felt you were lucky? <laughs> yeah, I like this. <laughs> Def- definitely, that's when I'm I'm le- I'm learning a new trick. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, my my like I I sometimes you you the slightly mistake you can you you do you can hurt yourself. So when it happens like that, you feel like hey I'm lucky today, <laughs> and then you go from here. <laughs> you stronger for the next time. Yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, and what has been the reaction from your siblings, your mm-hmm. family? Your, mm. uh, what have they been saying? Well, when I started, like my mom used to be angry at me when she sees me stunting. She would be like, "Ah, why? What was this?" And all those stuffs. But it get it got to a time when how she saw people's reaction, people hailing me, and people being like, "Ah, your son has talent too. This guy is this," and people, especially kids. Mm-hmm. Kids will be coming to my place, this KBS house. They will come and stand at my bike and be watching. And she'll be like, well, that's that's his talent. Let's just support him. Since everyone likes what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, with this stance, anytime you are on, how do you perceive death and injury? <laughs> mm. How do you see it? when you are doing this well death and injury i've put in uh, i've embraced uh, everything is uh, care already and mm. what i'm doing i know is dangerous mm-hmm. because normally there's no sports activities that doesn't bring uh, injuries yeah yeah every yeah. sports activity mm. has injuries so mm. you mm. being the rider you have mm. to be careful at, mm. at what you are doing mm. because the slightest mistake you do you hurt yourself likewise mm. any sports activity mm. Mm. and mm. I, w- I would advise i've seen a lot of people do it polygono mm-hmm. and others some of them do not wear some of these safety uh, uh helmets and other safety stuff mm. i will advise that all of these things can bring you a lot of money, especially when you get in touch with the relevant authority, like the National Sports Authority, uh, the Ministry of Sports. You come together. You need to come together because there are a lot of uh, 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 what they call it a uh, uh, smaller sports. Yeah, you can come together as a group. The lesser known sports. Yeah, lesser known sports. Mm. Come together as a group. Let them understand the integrity of your game, and you can be having this show mm. at. Talk to Mike again. Mm. You can be having this show at a place where people will pay to watch. Yeah, to come and watch you, and mm. at the end of the day, you make money. Mm. So every Sunday, like the footballers, mm. every Sunday you they take winning bonus. <laughs> so shall they come together yeah. as one body? Because one thing in Ghana is we like doing at our corners, like Obia Yenide. Come together, mm, mm, form mm. a proper sports mm-hmm. with all the uh, s- safety measures put in place, and make more money from this. And one day, one day, you can represent the country in a lot of sports outside the country. Mm, so please, mm. leadership should take this up. Oh, sure. Thank you so much. Um, I'm sure going to lead some of these discussions with my marketing manager. Uh, we are sure going to do this. I've seen a photo of um, a McMill post. Mm. That is American superstar McMill post, and um, he captioned it Ghana Dream. 
Ghana Dream Chasers a lifestyle. Is this the real McMill or a fake McMill? Yeah, it's a real McMill. Absolutely. Absolutely. How how did this happen? <laughs> Maybe you can tell me more. Well, it happened um, through, let's say, through from Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to meet this guy, PJ Kev. Okay. Oh, yeah, the guy who does the private jet business. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, I know so him. Mm. When PJ Kev was in Ghana, mm-hmm. he DM'd me that, ah, I'm in Ghana, bro. You ride, you are a good rider. I want to see you. Can we meet at Starbite? And I was like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So when I went there and I was about to stand, he called uh, one of McMill's boy called Chino. Mm-hmm. He's very popular you know, known in America. Okay. as a stunt rider mm-hmm. when you call chino i spoke with chino and chino was like yo bro give me freestyle mm-hmm. so when i popped up really and some tricks oh, so you did that live whilst you guys were yes, doing the video on, on a video the video <laughs> yeah. call was just on me uh-huh. yeah. and uh-huh. when he saw it he was like hey there's this crazy dude in africa he's, uh-huh. he's stunting so bad like uh-huh. i need to come to ghana and stunt with him mm. so from there mcnude also saw, saw saw the video and he followed uh-huh he followed me and hey so as you sit here make me follows you yeah Charlie, you're a big man <laughs> <laughs> that's international they all followed me and they were like oh anytime we come to ghana we, we, we are going to get in touch with you so we can book you and your whole team mm, for us for to a video. make a nice video wow i see where really do you want to take this to where do you want to get to with this bike stand thing you've been doing well, my dream is to stand internationally, not only in Ghana. Like, take, I, I want people to know. No, Ghana also has uh, riding talents, not mm-hmm. just football, football and, and other sports activities that okay. they showcase mm-hmm. to the world. Mm-hmm. But they mm-hmm. has stand riders too mm-hmm. in Ghana. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Come mm-hmm. through. Question for KBS as we wrap up on this. Mm. Yeah, me the question. Uh, begging now because me Yeah, you told uh, me earlier. Know, it feels good to see another brother from Medina doing his own thing. Mm-hmm. You know. I wanted to, you know, chip on the McMill thing, but mm-hmm. you guys mentioned I wanted to let you people know that mm-hmm. he's not just doing this because he feels like doing this because he feels like because he's got the recognition and mm-hmm. this recognition mm-hmm. to me means a lot from somebody coming from where I come from because where we come from, nobody really believes you can go far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doing music, people can t- say, okay, you can go far because we've got people that have set examples. Mm-hmm. But biking, people will be like, Nanyoye, mm-hmm. I so and say, and I say, baby. So if people will look at what he's doing and understand, say, it's a business like how you people are talking about, mm-hmm. I think it will be, you know, the best thing. And I also want to push him to do this YouTube thing. I thought he ha- already had that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I can say if he already did. I can tell you the subscribers he will be having by now and the views he will be getting and the money he will be making. Mm-hmm. So if he's got the advice now, I believe say okay, Charlie, YouTube need to see a now Chico Joking on my Juman so cause thank you so much. Uh, Papa Lee, a final message to bikers and those who would want to join the club moving forward. Well, the message we have um, for for other motorcycle riders is um, always gear up safety-wise. Mm-hmm. Obey your road signs, which mm-hmm. is very, very important. And mm-hmm. always remember that speed kills. Mm, speed kills. And even this is to drivers as well. Yes. Yeah, not only for riders. Yes. If you are a driver as well, remember speed, speed kills. kills. Yes, KBS, uh, final message to the people. And maybe you can uh, mention your social media handles properly as well. Let the people follow you because i have been enjoying more of your videos there <laughs> yeah well follow me on follow me on instagram okay. kbs underscore the bike star okay and our official instagram page ghana bike life i'm wearing the shirt right oh here. you guys have a bike page called ghana, ghana bike. bike life yes follow okay. ghana bike life mm, yeah. mm, mm, mm. and that is where most of the bike stands happen here yeah that's <laughs> where and those who ride without helmets you can contact mm-hmm. motor world okay motor world for your helmets okay and uh, that that is where where are they they are right opposite uh Starbite ne- next to Starbite. Yeah. Next, next to Starbite. To Starbite. Next I, to Starbite. I hope they sponsor you because you are advertising them. <laughs> <laughs> Do they sponsor you? 
they are just brothers to me. No, they should sponsor you. This one, I know you brother business. Yeah. But they gave me the they, they gave you this yes, one. I see. Papa Ali also mentioned your social media handles and let's run away. Our time is up. Well, to follow us and to keep up on the bike events as to where and when it's happening, you follow us at Bikers Sunday underscore. Okay. Bikers Sunday underscore. underscore. Guys, thank you so much. I'm happy that at least today Ghana has heard some people who are doing this. And I want to believe that after today, more things will be happening. I'm going to do so many discussions. Let's see what best we can do out of this. Yeah. God bless you and Thank protect you. you guys always.